Alvaro Morata slammed for his conduct at halftime in Chelsea's win over Crystal Palace. Alvaro Morata has been criticized for his attitude at halftime during Chelsea's 1-0 win over Crystal Palace on Sunday. N'Golo Kane's second half strike was enough for Maurizio Sarri's side to secure a victory at Sellerst Park. Morata, meanwhile, came on as a substitute with 14 minutes remaining having missed Chelsea's last four matches. The Spain international had been sidelined with a knee injury but for the 2-1 win over Watford on Boxing Day, he was dropped by Sarri due to tactical reasons. Morata has been heavily linked with a loan move to AC Milan in the January transfer window. And judging by his attitude in his halftime warm-up against Palace, Morata's effort levels at Chelsea already appear to be in decline. We watched Alvaro Morata warming up at halftime. I say warming up. It was one of the most disinterested warm-ups I've ever seen, said Sky Sports co-commentator Andy Hinchcliffe. He had his hands in his pockets for most of it. Salsk reveals what Sir Alex Ferguson told him after Huddersfield when Chelsea star makes bold prediction about Liverpool's title bid after beating Palace. Isco breaks silence over Chelsea transfer link Morata replaced Olivier Giroud, who suffered an ankle injury in the win over Palace, and Sarri is unsure about the extent of the French striker's setback. The problem is his ankle. I don't know the severity. We have to wait for tomorrow. I think that. Later in the evening, I will see the doctor for the first results, but I think the real result will only be known tomorrow. In the last few days we were a bit unlucky. Yesterday in 10 minutes we had three injuries, Fabregas, Loftus-Cheek and Drinkwater, then Giroud today, and today we were already without Pedro and Hudson-Odoi. We are in trouble because in January we have to play every three days. Maurizio Sarri admits he must work on Chelsea player after Crystal Palace when Isco breaks silence over Chelsea transfer link Chelsea star makes bold prediction about Liverpool's title bid after beating Palace.